Hello viewers and welcome to this video. In this video we will prove one theorem that is the theorem which says that every permutation in SN for n strictly bigger than 1 is a product of two cycles. You know what is meant by two cycles right? So, so let us discuss what is meant by two cycles first and then we will discuss the theorem. Okay, so two cycles means it is uh, the cycle of length 2. It is the cycles of length 2. So that is, uh, that is actually the permutation, that is the permutation of the form. a b where a is not equals to b so this is the definition okay some may uh, some authors also may also call uh, the two cycle as transpositions because if you take this 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 particular two cycle then here a goes to b and b goes to a so some may uh, some author may also call <coughs> two cycle as transposition okay so Basically, effect of this uh, cycle is to interchange or transpose A and B. That means A goes to B, B goes to A. Okay, so, so let us look at theorem which says that every permutation, every permutation in Sn, you know what is Sn, for N is strictly bigger than 1 is a product of two cycles this is what we want to prove so every <coughs> permutation in sn is a product of two cycles so what is sn sn is the the set of all permutation set of all permutations defined on set containing n elements that is 1 2 3 and so on n right this this is our sn and a uh, cycle of length 2 is also called two cycle okay so in case of two cycle what we can write is let us quickly observe something here before proving this theorem if you have two cycle let us say ab this is your two cycle then you can always write a v equals to b a in case of two cycle. Okay. Writing a b so this cycle a b is equal to b a. Clear? This is always true because a b means uh, if you look at this cycle, this means a goes to b, b goes to a, and this is the same thing, right? So b goes to a, a goes to b. Okay. So a b equals to b is always true in, if you have two cycle clear okay and what if you uh, multiply or compose a b with b a well a b is nothing but in array notation a goes to b b goes to a okay if you are work, working with uh, well uh, okay so that is a b and B A means A goes to again B, B goes to A. Right? Or you can write like this also, no problem. B goes to A, A goes to B. Now what is this actually? This is nothing but uh, here A goes to B and B goes to A. So here A goes to B, here B goes to A. So A goes to A itself. And here B goes to A, here uh, A goes to B. So B goes to B. This is exactly identity. Right? Okay. So now let us look at the proof. The proof is uh, very simple. Once we discuss the proof, we'll after that we'll see some examples. Proof. So first note that the identity can be expressed as 
note that the identity can be expressed as 1 2 1 2 means if you consider identity for any n bigger than 1 if you consider the identity permutation of s n then that can be expressed as the product of two cycles that is 1 2 1 2 whatever n you take no problem right for ex so why this is true because if you uh, compose 1 2 with itself that is 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 1 and 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 1 this is same as under this permutation 1 goes to 2 under this permutation 2 goes to 1 so 1 goes to 1 here if so this this is the composition so under this permutation 2 goes to 1 under this permutation 1 goes to 2 so 2 goes to 2 okay, this is the identity okay so identity element for any n bigger than 1 identity permutation of Sn is expressed as two cycles 1 2 and 1 2 clear and so it is a product of two cycles okay so next what we uh, know is that from our uh, one of the previous theorem every permutation if you have any permutation that permutation can be expressed as a product of these joint cycles right every permutation of a finite set can be expressed either as a cycle or as a product of these joint cycles clear so if you take alpha to be a permutation in sn suppose alpha to be a permutation in sn then since alpha is a permutation in finite set so it can be expressed as a product of these joint cycles so alpha can be expressed as let us say product of these joint cycles that are a1 a2 so on a k b1 b2 so on b let us suppose t and so on c1 c2 let us say cs okay okay fine if alpha is identity permutation in sn then it can be expressed like this right and it is it is a product of two cycles you are done if not then let us see what happens if it is not then you just write uh, the first cycle as you just decompose the first cycle like this a1 ak a1 ak minus 1 and so on a1 a2 similarly you decompose the second like second cycle like b1 bt okay i'll continue from here b1 bt minus 1 and so on b1 b2 similarly you decompose the third cycle as like c1 cs c1 cs minus 1 and so on c1 c2 clear this is how you decompose it okay if you look at this cycle if you look at okay so if you look at this a decomposition of the first uh, cycle if you uh, if you compose all these if you compose all these cycles you will get exactly this cycle you know how to compose uh, cycles right okay you know uh, how to write all these cycles in a disjoint form so uh, so if you come okay suppose you start with a1 then this cycle takes a1 to a2 the cycle just uh, just before this we'll fix a2 and so on this cycle also fix a2 so a1 goes to a2 now look look at a2 a2 goes to a1 uh, if you look at this cycle uh, then with respect to this cycle a2 goes to a1 but uh, while coming back you will get uh, at some point where a2 goes to a2 clear so yeah. okay because just uh, before this you would have a1 a3 so you so if you observe then it is very clear that with this cycle uh, a2 goes to a1 but here a1 goes to a3 just cycle just uh, before this will fix a3 and so on so a2 goes to a3 and you proceed like this you will get exactly this cycle okay clear fine do the same for this do the same for this you will get exactly 
so you will get exactly above cycles okay if you compose them clear okay so this completes the proof this completes the proof for example once we prove this then we can uh, freely apply this theorem in any problems so let us see some examples so let us see some exam examples so the first example which i want to discuss is the following if we look at uh, the cycle that is 1 2 3 4 5 now the now the my aim here is to uh, write this in uh, two cycle form suppose that this is uh, the permutation in s5 then my aim here is to write uh, this cycle in two cycle form decompose this cycle in two cycle uh, decompose my aim is to decompose this cycle in uh, in the product of two cycles so, so so by using previous theorem what i can do is i write 1 5 1 4 1 3 1 2 so this is the decomposition of this given cycle as a product of two cycles i have used exactly the previous theorem in this case so similarly if i want to write 1 6 3 2 cycle 1 6 3 2 and uh, let us say 4 5 7 in two cycle then this is nothing but first i have to write this again uh, i use the previous theorem so i write 1 2 1 3 1 2 1 3 1 6 this is the uh, two cycle of uh, decomposition of the first cycle if you combine them you will get exactly this cycle and then this uh, and then the two cycle decomposition of second cycle is 4 7 and 4 5 clear clear right it is very simple so you understood theorem its proof and the first example okay fine so next uh, what we do is let me check what is left uh, okay we have one lemma which we are, we are going to prove in the next lecture and uh, yeah and then we'll proceed with some theorems and definitions okay so with this i want to stop here